is my help in the time of trouble. He is my shelter in the time of storm. He is the one that I can look to. He is my strong tower that I can run into and be safe. I'm here to tell you today, if there's ever been a time that we need to run to the house of God, it is now. It is now. I'm here to tell you, I believe that we are just beginning to see sorrow. I believe we're just beginning to see hard times. I believe they're going to get worse. Who's going to be ready? Are we going to be ready? Are we going to be prepared? I'm here to tell you. And you're right. God's going to be bigger. He's still going to be bigger. I tell you today, Chelsea used to sing that song. I can't remember the name of it right now. But I'm here to tell you, I used to love to hear her sing it. I'm no problem too big for God. I'm here, I don't know the name of the song. But there ain't nothing too big for God. There is nothing. There's not a problem too big. There's not a battle too hard. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's not a devil too strong that God can't touch. There ain't not one out there today that God can't save. I'm here to tell you right now. People will give up on them. But I'm here to tell you to thank the God we serve. He is not a God to give up. About Sister Juanita. God should have gave up on me a long time ago, but yet He did not. Why? Because He needs me just as well as I need Him. And if He didn't need me, I wouldn't be here. Do you hear what I'm saying? God needs us. He needs us because He has to have workers. He has to have workers that are willing. And sometimes we get in situations. We get in places in life where we don't want to work. Now, I'm just going to be honest for a minute. There's times we get down and out in our spirit and we don't want to work. We don't want to do anything. We don't even want to come to the house of God, much less do anything while we're there. But I'm here to tell you, you go on anyway. You go on anyway. You push through the pain. Trish used to tell us all the time, you got to push Pray until something happens. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's what I had to do. I had to remember that I had to push. You gotta push through the pain. You gotta push through the heartache. You gotta push through the problems and get to God. When we can do that, God can move. He can move. But you know what? I'll tell you, it's hard though. I'm standing here to tell you as, as, as a pastor, as your pastor, I'm standing here today to tell you that I have failed God when it comes to trust. I have failed God when it comes to having enough faith to believe that he's able. But Sister Juanita, I still pushed and I still prayed and I still held on. Why? Because there's something greater that I inside of me uh, that keeps me going on uh, because I know uh, that the world is coming to an end. And in the end, there's nothing there. If we don't have God, we ain't going to have anything. I'm here to tell you, sin is just a season. Sin is just for a season. These pleasurable things that we're doing today, Sister Oh my God, Sister Rachel. These pleasurable things that the world is into right now, they're only for a season. After a while, that's how I'm going to vanish away. But I'm here to tell you, God won't ever leave. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. He was there in the beginning, and He's going to be there in the end. I'm here to tell you right now, He is a constant. Oh my God, He is the one that will be there in the end. He'll be there with you in the storm. He'll be there with you through the trials. He's there with you through the tribulation. I've been reading in the book of Ezekiel a lot. And I'm here to tell you. God was trying to tell Ezekiel to tell his people. Turn yourselves around. Get turned around. And stop being rebellious. The church world has become so 
rebellious against the will of God. They become so rebellious against the word of God that God can no longer work in the church the way he once did. I'm here to tell you, as a child growing up, I'm talking, they would shout as they come in the door. They would shout as they was going out. But it ain't happening anymore. You know why? Because of the rebellion of God's people. When people were sick, they would pray. And the sick would recover. The Bible tells us to call upon the elders of the church. But there ain't very many elders you can call upon. They're all too busy. That's when we got to trust the Lord. That's why we got to trust the God that we serve. In, in the second Kings chapter 20, I'm going to start at the first verse. It says, in those days it was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him in order. He, uh, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. But you know what? You can't get a man of God anymore to tell the world, to tell the church that if they don't set their house in order, I said the church because it ain't just the, the, the sinners. We need to be speaking to the saints alike. We need to set our houses in order because if we don't, we are surely going to die. We will not live. And that's what I, that, that's what Isaiah was telling Hezekiah. If you don't set your house in order, you are surely going to die. You won't live. You can look at that in a different way. And let me tell you how. You won't live. You won't live to the Lord. See, when we live, we live forever. If we live, truly live in God, we will live forever. But if we die in vain, we're going to be dying. But we're going to die forever. The Bible says that the fire is never quenched. I've been praying one day that I want the Lord to give me a message on hell so strong it's hard, hard for anybody to even sit in the seats. That's the kind of messages we need today. We need the kind of messages to set the church on fire. We need a fiery church. We need a church that is on fire with the Holy Ghost of God. I tell you, we need an outpouring of God's Holy Ghost. We need an outpouring of the Spirit of God. We need an outpouring in the land today. You know, I'm telling you right now, the devil is out there pouring out his spirit. You don't think he is? You watch the news.